Should I install a combi boiler, a system boiler, or an open vent boiler? My name's Alan Hart, and today I've been sent a video from a subscriber, and he wants to know um, what boiler he should have installed in his property. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this video, I'm gonna show you this video now, and, and then afterwards, I'm gonna answer some of the questions that's in the video. And if you, if you could, I'd like you to um, go along with the video with us and answer some of the questions and give your advice as well. So if you're a plumber or you're a gas engineer, comment below and let us know what you would install. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this video now. Also, if you know any really good gas engineers or plumbers in the Beverly area, if you want to add a link below to their website, and then hopefully um, Dave will be able to get somebody that's really good um, to come and do the install for them as well. Hi, Alan. Um, my name's Dave, and I've got a bit of a boiler conundrum. Um, back at Christmas time, I was looking at um, replacing my 35-year-old Ideal Lam 2 RS75 um, at the time with a Worcester Bosch system boiler and then I started watching your videos and things have got more complicated and more confusing uh, ever since. Um, I don't think I really fancy Worcester Bosch after uh, many of your videos and I think I prefer either a Baxi 600 or a, a, a Vitadens um, equivalent kind of thing. Um, my biggest problem now is whether I should swap the boiler for a like for like uh, standard boiler or go for a system boiler or make a big change and go for a combi but there's a few things to consider and I'd really really appreciate a bit of advice thought I'd do it in a video rather than um, writing a lengthy email so first thing um, it's a Ideal Elan 75 which is the end column down there I don't know whether any of that information is any use to you it's the gas consumption I suppose that is my biggest um, concern because at the moment it's only got a 15 mil gas supply to the boiler and getting another one through would be quite difficult it's also got 28 mil input and output up at the top um, so that's my first thing is the gas supply the good thing next to the boiler is the washing machine so there is water and drainage available there um, for the condensing side of things I'll move upstairs now, I'll just pause. I'm up on the landing now, directly above the boiler, which is on an outside wall, so it's quite easy that the pipes come up under the carpet there, run along the landing, straight into the airing cupboard. Um, at the moment there's a standard tank in there. Eight or nine years ago I did put a new pump and a motorised valve in there because it was uh, playing up a bit and added that um, bleed valve on there. Um, so that's the the tank. The water tanks are up in the loft and there's now a new hatch which making getting in and out of there considerably easier than it used to be. Um, so, just pause a second. So the next thing to consider is the bathroom. Um, at the moment, due to a stupid mistake I guess or, or a shortcut by a previous owner of the house, when I guess they've fitted the mixer taps they've um, wanted lower pressure cold water and then instead of just running a separate pipe to that, They've turned the whole bathroom over onto low pressure from the tank. So now if you flush the toilet, you get uh, water from the tank. But more importantly, I've not got drinking water at the sink, which means we can't do our teeth in here. Um, not a problem, really. We've got an ensuite that's got a shower in there. Um, and in there, it, you know, it, it's not a problem. We're in there, there's a, a, a shower that's fed from the water tank with a mixer valve. It's not a thermostatic one, so I suppose if I did go to a combi, I'd need to consider that as well but maybe a combi would help in the bathroom because it could be easily switched back to what it should be should have done it years ago but I've really never got round to it so really um, my main um, problem that I've got and really don't know where to go is should I go for a, a system boiler and get rid of the small header tank should I go for a, a just a standard boiler and do a simple straightforward swap um, I'm still left with the old pump arrangement motorised valve which is a pig to get to in the way that it's been installed or do I go for a combi and do a dramatic change, gain a cupboard, get some loft space from the 
tanks in there which isn't the best of installations um, and then um, go combi and, and do it that way at the moment I live on my own with two children that I have two days a week so there's not a massive demand for water um, it's a single shower at a time um, or running a bath on an evening so there's a possibility that a combi might be doable there's the issue with the gas supply downstairs um, the oven is a gas one sorry the oven's an electric one the hob is a gas one um, never really had any problems in the time in terms of the 10 years or so been using it here there is a kind of living flame gas fire in the living room but it gets used once or twice a year so it really I suppose it could be discounted but maybe from regulations point of view that would need to be added in the calculation so gas supply is one thing 28 mil pipes maybe won't drop it down to 22 um, that's another thing to look at but that should be reasonably easy under the floor where I'm stood at the moment and then there's a bathroom that I need to put back to either full pressure water or I need to drop a separate pipe in for the mixer for the bath at some point in time as well so the big question is Baxi 600 Vitadens 100 I think it was or do I go for something else and is it Baxi sorry is it a combi system boiler or just a standard one and a straight swap um, the ideal LAN is is working lovely I'll move back down there now as I said the the old boiler here it's it's been an absolute uh, sterling unit um, I keep an eye on it it hasn't been serviced for a while but it always has a, a reasonably nice clean burn in there it's just started up now so you get a tiny little bit of flicker but I do keep an eye on that um, and carry a spare uh, thermocouple in case it plays up which is about the only thing it's ever had in the time that we've uh, been here um, yeah so really any help will be most and advice will be most appreciated um, thank you very much cheers oh and I'm in Beverly in East Yorkshire by the way so maybe just outside your area I'm electrician by trade I'm very particular about my cable work just as you are about your pipe work um, so my ideal thing would be over the summer would be to swap the boiler maybe do so much of the legwork myself I'm quite reasonable at, at, uh, at pipe work and, and plumbing on the water side of things obviously wouldn't be able to touch the gas and we'll probably look at somebody to come and install the boiler when I've done the kind of groundwork and the, any ripping out and, and re-sorting and any wiring of course thanks again cheers bye so as I say if you're a plumber or you're a gas engineer please comment below and Give some suggestions ask some questions i'm sure dave will be watching this video um, in detail um, should he go for a baxi should he go for a i um, a vesman should he go for an open vent boiler an open vent vesman should he go for a combi what what do you think you should do what i'm going to do now i'm going to go through the video again and I'm going to make my suggestions and, and give some questions and answers on that. And yeah, let's have a look. Um, my biggest problem now is whether I should swap the boiler for a like for like uh, standard boiler or go for a system boiler or make a big change and go for a combi. So my first thought with that is it depends on the gas, also depends on the flu on the outside. So obviously on this we haven't seen the flu. We'd also need to check the water pressure and flow to see if you've got enough pressure to have a combi. Um, but a combi looks like it would be the best solution. Um, as I say, we'd need to check the gas as well. The gas would need, almost definitely would need updating to 22 mil minimum, but we haven't seen the gas meter and we haven't seen how how we could update that maybe we could update it upstairs across the floors or something like that so far it looks like a combi could be the best solution but let's have a look at the rest of the system um, also if there's anybody that uh, wants to make any suggestions now on a particular boiler it doesn't have to just be Baxi or Wiesman if you're an installer and you install Valen or Intergas or any of the other brands of boilers then please free uh, please feel free to add a comment below and suggest uh, what what you think would be right and also 
why you think that'd be right as well. Let's have a look at some more of these questions. So the next thing to consider is the bathroom. Um, at the moment, due to a stupid mistake, I guess, or, or shortcut by a previous owner of the house, when I guess they've fitted the mixer taps, they've um, wanted lower pressure cold water, and then instead of just running a separate pipe to that, they've turned the whole bathroom over onto low pressure from the tank. So now if you flush the toilet, you get uh, water from the tank, but more importantly, I've not got drinking water at the sink, which means we can't do our teeth in here. The taps being tank fed shouldn't really be a big issue. What you could do when you remove the tank up in the loft, then you can connect the mains that goes up there now, and you can connect that to the tank fed part of it. And that will mean that the taps will then be tank fed. Obviously, you'd need to be careful that it's now gonna be on mains pressure. So you'd have to make sure that, you know, check for leaks and, and things like that. But that's, that's, a pos that's possible. Also, if you could get to a pipe lower down and connect onto the tank fed part, then in that way you could you could get the pipes out of the loft as well. So really, um, my main um, problem that I've got and really don't know where to go is should I go for a, a system boiler and get rid of the small header tank? Should I go for a, a just a standard boiler and do a simple straightforward swap? Um, I'm still left with the old pump arrangement motorised valve which is a pig to get to in the way that it's been installed or do I go for a combi and do a dramatic change, gain a cupboard, get some loft space from the tanks in there which isn't the best of installations um, and then um, go combi and, and do it that way. Thank you, um, thank you Dave for the video and the questions. Um, Please, if anybody's got any, um, if anybody can help, please add some comments below. Uh, what do I think? It, it, it depends on depends on a number of things really. One is how much you want to spend. Putting a an open vent boiler in um, will will be the cheapest option. Obviously, from an installer's point of view, take the old balance flue boiler out, brick the flue up, and put a new boiler there. You've got your pipes there and you've got your gas there and you've just got to put some common set pipe in. So that's the that's definitely the easiest route. You'll still have your problems or your issues in your bathroom with your tank fed bath and your tank fed toilet, etc. Um, or put a combi in. If it were my house, I'd be probably tempted to put the combi in. If you put a combi in, then Obviously, there's a lot more work to do. You've got to get gas to it. The gas will need updating. Almost definitely, the gas will need updating. Um, you can then alter the pipes up in the loft and you can make it so that the, the bathroom is, tank, it is now mains pressure rather than tank fed. You'd need to check your showers, make sure your showers are going to be compatible with a new boiler with a new combi on mains pressure. So as you've said, you, you may need to change that shower. Um, yeah, so I would say the combi route is probably, I would probably go down the combi route if, if yeah, but it will be more work and more expense. I hope that's been of some help. If you've got any more questions, then please, please ask them below. Um, and if anybody else wants to send me some videos like this and they want some advice, if if I can use it on YouTube, if I can do the video and spread it out like this on YouTube, I'll, I'll try and do a video and I'll try and answer the questions as much as I can. Thanks for watching.